Bob, I got your note. What's up? PM. Have a seat, Jim. Uh, you need to do something for me. I was over at the client site yesterday meeting some people and Carol. The client's contract manager was in the group. She didn't say anything directly to me, but I got the impression she was unhappy with us. Now, she usually works with our contracting office, so I don't have much contra contact with her. But if something is amiss, I want to know about it before it gets to the program manager, and I get a nasty phone call. I don't know what her problem could be. We have the best technical people in the industry working on the project, and we're giving them great results. But maybe the engineers are con covering up something. Look into it and get back to me. TM. I'll get right on it, sir. TM. Bob, got a minute? I've got some information about Carol's concern. Sure, what's the deal? Well, you you were right about the technicals. Carol and everybody else over there are really pleased with what we're doing on the technical side. It's the administration that is all messed up. Administration? That's nonsense. That stuff takes care of itself. Besides, nobody really cares about paperwork. They all want the technical work done right. Well, it's not... It's not nonsense to Carol. Look, I've been doing this for 42 years. I know what I'm talking about. It's obviously not the administration. You're wasting my time and yours. Haven't you ever heard the axiom, do not subject to analysis those things that can be sold by inspection? Uh, yes, I have. Um, in fact, I worked for the guy who said that some years ago, but I also know the quality axiom. All quality improvement begins with data collection. Look, don't try to make a big deal out of this. You need to... Bob, I know what I need to do. And I've already done it. I've made up a check sheet and collected some historical data that is very revealing. Check sheet? Yes, a check sheet. Let me show you. I went through our contract manager and got an appointment with Carol. I sat down with her and asked about her satisfaction with our overall performance. She is very pleased with our technical work, but is really dissatisfied with our administration. She did not have any details, but said all I had to do was review our monthly status reports, and the matter would become clear. When I started looking, I found that almost every monthly status report is returned for correction for some error. Almost every one. No wonder she's not pleased. A really in-depth analysis would involve a lot of people and take a lot of time. I knew you wanted a quick answer, so I just did it myself. I made up a little check sheet, that's a tool for compiling and recording data in an organized way, and pulled the status report files for, for the last six months. I went through the first month to identify possible sources of error and set up a check sheet with the source of all listed, so I could just make a tick mark in appropriate row when I encountered that particular error. I then summarized the data in the column over the right. Here's the result. Figure 7.1 on page 81. The data shows not one single error related to technical matters over the past six months. No content errors in reports, no miscalculations, no wrong methods applied, nothing. But administration is another story. Ten different errors occurred during the period examined. Well, I can fix that. There is no excuse for the late report or missing attachments. I just make it clear that this is unacceptable to apply disciplinary action if necessary to get things right. Bob, we should keep in mind that these are just numbers. A check sheet does not tell us any more than that. If you want to ch fix things, we'll have to determine why errors occur in the first place. And we can't do everything at once. We should start with the things that will have the greatest improvement effect. Which ones are those? Well, that's another kind of analysis. Let me be be get back to you on that. Okay, but don't take too long. I don't want these to bite me. In this situation, the task manager made effective use of the check sheet 